Hi guys, Dane here, Bad Back Dane here, and uh, little helper Susie has come to join us. Susie is from the channel Lord Literature and Madam Media, the YouTube sensation. Uh, she's <laughs> yeah. also my beautiful girlfriend, and she's here to look after me because I'm an old man and I can't really move. And the poor guy threw his back out, so yeah. I'm here to be the glamorous single passer. Yes, because what we're, what we're doing today is I won a job lot on eBay. Uh, oh, the bad back is the reason why I'm sitting weirdly, by the way, in case you're wondering. So, I won a job lot on eBay of vinyls. That's the box of singles. There's also the box of albums over there. Much bigger box, yeah. I'm not picking that up. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna start by having a little look through the singles. I'm gonna pick out any I wanna keep, and then Susie's gonna pick out any that she wants to keep. Okay. So, do you wanna shove me a, a stack of singles? And I'll, I'm going to rifle through and I'll pass them on to you afterwards no worries. and then you can pass me the next step, step. No worries. I've got to put my foot my leg like this, don't mind me. <laughs> no worries. I don't, I don't even know what that, that is. Alright, oh blooming Nora. It's my party. The old Dave Stewart and Barbara Gaskin, look she looks mental, what's she doing there? Oh my god. I'm going to show that to the people. Interesting. Uh, Album cover there. Oh, trio da da da, and they have an English version and a German version. I like to think that the lyrics to both are just da 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 da. Oh, this is all right. I found one that's a, with one that's a listener anyway. Maybe not a keeper. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I don't. Some of these are just like I don't even know what that is. Would you like to uh, tell the audience about this particular one? Oh, it's Spandau Ballet. Mm. Um, to cut a long story short, and it's quite a classy, basic album cover. You know, I saw a Spandau Ballet tribute band uh, back in, well, in the before times, Sweet. and they were pretty good. I'd heard nothing of them before, really, apart from mm. the obvious ones. And so they did Golden. Oh. Did they do True as well? Yeah, they also did one that made me think of, Bas of the Bastille or something. Um, the Barricade, I, I think, is one really of them. Yeah. Not good. my era. No, so, not uh, mine either. So keep that one, that one's in the keep, to keep pile. There is now a to keep pile. Yeah. All the okay. Christians. Yeah, I'll give that to the Lions. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Barbara Streisand, Run yeah. Wild. And Woman in Love, hey! Oh, so you, so you like Woman in Love, so that's on the keep one as well then? Oh, my parents. Yeah, keep yep. that on the keep one. Okay. okay, these are some ones that I've selected here. So again, if you would like to tell the people about them. Oh, Rolling Stones, Miss You. Oh, and I like that, Far Away Eyes. That's a keep, and then this one is UB40, Where Did I Go Wrong? Ooh, that's got pretty cool artwork. UB40, you can do some skanking once my back heals. <laughs> oh, when you're no longer a yeah. poorly soldier. And. Oh, I like that. Um, it's one of those singles where the f side A is the version with lyrics, and then side B is just the instrumental. Ah, yeah. So you can like do karaoke versions or something, yeah. or sample it. Yeah, I guess that's yeah, probably a bit of both. Yeah. Mm. Okay, here is a stack for you of non-keepers, unless you find one that you want to keep. Let's have a look. Um... Nope, don't know you. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a completely blank vinyl. Oh, well, you can I open can't it and look inside it. Oh, yeah, I know that. It's the mystery. Mystery. Sunny Doctor's Orders. It's only when you're feeling lonely. I've got no idea. No idea no, at all. I don't know. So, um, nah, um. I think we can pretty much assume that the chances are. Like most of these are going to be ones I haven't heard of, and if I haven't heard of them, you probably haven't heard of them. Because so, he's more cultured than I am, clearly. No, I just like older stuff, I think. But then it'll be like when it's, when it's like Barbara Streisand, then you'll be like, oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Like I think I I come in slightly later in the decades than you. Yeah. Like you're what would you say, 50s, 60s? 50s, 60s are probably my favourites. And I've got a bit of 70s, 80s, courtesy of my parents. Yeah. Oh. And then we're both, I guess, 90s, noughties. Mm. Can I have another stack, please? Yeah, sure. 
We're now in the main body of it, so. Oh. Yeah. What? Holy. Oh, there are quite a few loose ones in oh, there. Oh, yeah, there might well be. Well, there are. Funny, funny that, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Right, Ooh, look. Master Blaster by Stevie Wonder. Oh um, no, you stop! You robbed me of the joy of seeing it first. That's definite keep. Okay, what's on the other, what's on the B side? It seemed to be the same on both sides. Master Blaster jamming. Oh, the other one's a dub version of it. Okay. That's sweet. Cool. Is that a keep? Yes, that's the keep. Yeah. This is this is why I, you pass them to me first, and then you look through this one. Oh, fine. Yeah. I, I get the. Well, in that case, I'm not going to look at that one. Okay. Just in case, it's amazing. <laughs> Oh, this was on the top actually. This is the one I was spoiled for. Uh, Ruby Winters, whoever that is. I know the name vaguely. It's a nice title. Nothing but the marvelous is beautiful. Well, there we go. There's a lot of the Christians here. Uh, Lady Armour. Uh, I've got no idea what this album actually is, but I love how retro that looks. Yeah. I and mean, can you even see the way it's written? It's just, it just looks like the 70s to me. Um, the end of the world? Oh wow, there I is can't stay mad at you. Oh, what a lovely sentiment. There's Gladys Knight there, which I'm, I'm about. I think there's going to be so many others. Is this Cliffy? I think it is. Oh, it is. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, continue. I'm intrigued by this one because it seems to. It's one of these weird ones where the hole in the middle is so much bigger than you would expect. Yeah, it's something to do with like you can take them out like in this one here you could punch that out. If you had the kind of vinyl that would play it, but like on our one, yeah, there's not no, your one. There's nothing it a would, lot of it them would just do that. A lot of them have it. How oh, weird. So that one's nice but unplayable on what we've got. Yeah. A lot of them have a little black like, platform that they can pop onto. Oh. Yeah. What you got? Keep that one. Ooh. These people, I think somebody's parents probably died to give us these. Um, okay, these are all these are all keeps. Okay. So if you would like to tell the people all about them, let's see. Um, we've got an Elvis Costello. It's, it's um, very weirdly written on the sides of things. It's very yeah. artistic. So on the front, oh, it's, Clockwork Orange. It's Oliver's Army and the Clockwork Orange. Okay. But Oliver's Army is his well-known one. Oliver's Army is here to stay. Cool. And then we've got um, the Electric Light Orchestra, the Diary of Horace Wimp. That is correct. And. Dane is right, I've not heard of it, so this will be a learning experience for well, me. They're, they're also shortened to ELO. Oh, okay. This one is Summer Holiday. And. Oh, yeah, so that's Cliff Richard and the Shadows. Oh! Um, yeah, I like the Shadows. And it's music. Well, you, you've mainly heard the Shadows instrumental stuff because that's what I prefer. It's music from the show Summer Holiday. Oh. And the title theme is We're All Going On a. Summer holiday. And I don't know the rest. Um, no more working for a week or two. Fun and laughter on a summer holiday. Don't know the last line myself. <laughs> we can learn it. Yeah. Uh, this one, um, Rack, Man to Man. Oh, Hot Chocolate, Man to Man. Yeah. So and Eyes of a Growing Child. That's so cool. I don't know. Hot, I know hot chocolate yeah. because of the famous ones, but I don't know that one. Yeah, I don't know any of those specific ones. Could I have another stack, please? Yeah, sure. And then uh, the next lot. Here we go. Oh, thank you. There you go, my love. I've got some really uh, good shit in here. Please. This one is Paul Simon. One half of Simon and Garfunkel. And this one is Take Me to the Mardi Gras and. For Emily, wherever I may find her, I think. Oh wow! I'm gonna have to take your word on that. I can't see it. Oh, oh wow! What? So, 
continue. You're gonna. I'm, I'm, I can't tell you about the stories till you're ready to introduce the vinyls to the people. Okay, fine. Well, I will look at your discard. Oh, you got more. These are all oh. keepers. Okay, so more from the keepers. We've got. Oh, Vienna! By Ultravox. That was what, my. What you said? That was my um, mum and dad song, apparently. Aww. So, do you know much about the song itself? It sounds like... All I know is the song Vienna. It <laughs> looks quite academic. Like it should be a, a classic or something. It's definitely oh! Not. Oh, I love this one! Oh yeah, we've got more okay. of those coming. Um, Adam and the Ants. Stand and deliver. <laughs> What's the B-side, does it say? Um... Did now let's just look at the thing because we're still oh. learning. Um, beat my guest. That's about right. <laughs> oh, that is so cool because this is the era that I'm familiar with. I, I look at the background on that. Some of these are duplicates, you know. I think. He was such a boss. Okay. Yeah, so we have Adam and the Ant standard deliver, right? Yeah. All right, because well, we have it here as well. Oh. Do you want it for your mum, mum and dad? <laughs> I will see if they're interested. I will keep both just in case. Right, so the next one from your keep pile. I want your love. Is it Chick? Uh, Chic. Oh, Chic. Niall Rogers and Chic. I've seen those live. And then the other, the other side is Funny Bone. Yeah. Cool. So they must have been running for quite a while. Chic have been going for years, mm. yeah. Since the 70s. And I then... This is Mike Oldfield, Moonlight Shadow. Mike Oldfield was one of the first signs to Virgin Records. So I read about his first album in Richard Branson's autobiography, but he's most famous for a, a, like an epic song called Tubular Bells. Right. Um, which is the theme from The Exorcist as well. Then, oh, we've got the oh so famous Blondie. Mm -hmm. And this is Union City Blue and Living in the Real World. Mmm, cool. And then... I'm ready for another stack. Cool. Um, we have Mrs. Robinson, Simon and Garfunkel. Does Mrs. Robinson buy Simon and yeah. Garfunkel? Yeah, well look at the label. I'm just reading what's there. Yeah. So, um, side one is Mrs. Robinson and side two is Scarborough Fair. Two bangers. Though there's also, it looks like it's like a like an EP, like a mini one. Yeah, some of them have more than two. On side one there is also April Come She Will. Yeah. And on side two there is also Canticle yeah. and The Sound of Silence. Who doesn't love that song? Sweet. Yeah. It's kind of Art nouveau -y, which I approve of. Then you've got a Donovan album. Yeah, Donovan's like a... Sunshine Superman from the 1960s. I imagine that's probably Donovan's one of those people who has like a, still has a legion of diehard fans today who like are mad about him. Okay, well I'm Team Cassidy for those who remember and care. Yeah. <laughs> um, rock and Roll with Me and The Divine Days of Deathless Delight. Yeah, it just rolls off the tongue. Dope. <laughs> uh, another Simon and Garfunkel. America. And for Emily, whenever I may find her. There we go. The pretty standard sleeve. I'm very excited. I was editing our Christmas vlog today and I was rambling on about Wizard and I was like, isn't the guy from Wizard called Roy Wood or something? <laughs> Wizard Roy Wood is down there. I'm not going to listen no. to it though. So this is Tammy Winnett. She did Stand By Your Man. Oh. But the one that's there is... Uh, We've got Almost Persuaded and D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Even Couldn't. it comes with the dots. Yeah, well, um, Billy Connolly did it as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then the next one, you see quite a few of these don't have sleeves. Yeah, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jack the decent cardboard sleeves for the ones I want to keep. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And then just like scribble them out, put a sticker on them for what's really in them. Yeah. So this is another Mike Oldfield. Yeah. I believe side one is called Portsmouth and side two is called Speak. Cool. And then <laughs> um, Ebony and Ivory. Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. And, oh, this is quite cool on the back. 
it's got the lyrics in the handwriting so yeah. you can imagine the artist just scribbling it away maybe from on a napkin on one of their aeroplanes or something Are you ready for another stat? I am ready, yes um, To answer your question we've got about half the box left Okay <laughs> So, the next one from the keep pile She looks like Katy Perry but she's not It's Dead or Alive You Spin Me Round like a record you spin me right, right round, round baby, baby right, right round, round like a record baby like a... and also, i thought it was a woman i was gonna say i'm pretty sure that there was a man wasn't it mm. i mean I, I, they were going for the whole androgynous I mean, look i mean so, absolutely yeah. stunning yeah either way <laughs> 10 out of 10 would do can, can you pass me another stack please? yeah sure so here's a bit more for you to look at while i continue going. um oh i like the album cover what is this oh um, that's from uh, the Ayatollah Ayatollah. Song? Ayatollah. As in the Ayatollah Khomeini who used to run uh, Iran. And it's by the team from the 9 o'clock news. So I guess it's a comedy record. Okay. And it has a very... I mean, it says it's the BBC. It's got quite a Channel 4 look about it. As I remember yeah. when I, I studied the different channels in media studies back in the day. And Channel 4 was always the one I appreciated. Yeah, it does. Well, it's... Um, Is that the counter sim culture sim stuff? Similar with like Nevermind the Buzzcock. They exactly, were, yeah. yeah. This one's Bad Manners, Just a Feeling. I can't remember. Bad Manners are either a punk group or a reggae group, and I can't remember which. Oh. Yeah, it's Just a Feeling and Suicide. That's mm. cool. Just cheery, you know. Um, this is another Adam and the Ants. Um, Deutsche Girls. <laughs> and plastic surgery cool and then oh like the kind of paper sleeves that they used to buy it from the shops with what was that i think that's an old-fashioned receipt i think it might be oh it, it won't but back when they just stamped a thing and that was enough and that's in the old money as well oh that's so cute uh, so, um, The Pipes of Peace by Paul McCartney. Yeah, might um, as well. Then we've got um, a B-side, So Bad. Sounds about right. Then we've got more Adam and the Ants. Um, oh, Prince Charming. Ridicule is nothing to be scared of. <laughs> That's brilliant. And, oh, there's, there's more to it. Oh, they went for it back then. They did, that's I a do. Oh, I do appreciate the aesthetic of that. Check that out. I approve. And then um, we've got more Adam and the Ants and Kings of the Wild Frontier. That's really striking. Whoever their graphic artist was, they deserved a raise. <clears throat> more as well. <laughs> I'm ready for more, if you've got some. Oh, uh, did you get through all those? Yeah. Is there any, are you sure? And you only saw, how many Adam and the Ants total do you think you saw? Because there were like I five. I think there were like four, five. Okay, all right then, we're probably all right then. I'm just. You're just whizzing back blast, through now. Blasting through, through them, yeah. So we've got a Neil Diamond. Yeah. Home is a Wounded Heart and Beautiful Noise. Not particularly attached to the um, songs as such, but. Neil, oh, like Diamond, Neil Diamond, yeah. Cool. And this is another hot chocolate one. Same, I'll same put you together too. again from Dear Anyone and West End of Park Lane. Could I have another stack, please? <laughs> there we go. Is this the last of them? or? I would say there's one more load after this. Okay. And then we've got Do you want to give me the last of them now then? Might okay. as well. <laughs> There oh we go. my lord, okay, yeah. there you go. That's I'm pretty sure that was a Rod Stewart album I just saw. That was, yeah. Yay! <laughs> so, Hand on Your Heart, I didn't even need to look at the name, it's Kylie Minogue. Back in the day. Was it Home and Away or Neighbours that she was on? Um, I don't know. It was one of the Australian ones. I like, come on, focus. Focus. I didn't there think we go. she was in either of those. I thought... She was, she started off in an Australian, like, soap opera type Isn't there thing. another one? It was one of the ones I knew and my mum always watched Neighbours and what was the other one I said? Oh, my Home mum will away. know this. Home and Away, that's one. So this 
has on it hand on your heart and just want to love you Ooh. then it's got a green apple on it that's because it comes from apple core which is the beatles record label and do, and do you like the fact they're called apple core c-o-r-p for corporation oh and there's an apple on the core of the album yeah. Wow. Okay, so this was My Sweet Lord. By George Harrison. Oh, and then on the other side, so you can do a thing. Oh, that's very cool. What's on side B? Uh, side B is What is Life? Cool. Mm. And then this is the last one on my stack, so I'm ready for more. I've got a couple um, more. Yoko Ono, Kiss Kiss Kiss. That's the B side. And Just Like Starting Over. John Lennon. John Lennon. Oh, that's so cute. They shared an album or yeah. a single. They did a lot of shit like that. There's one of their albums they did called Two Virgins, where the cover is literally them both bollock naked, just naked on the covers. Wow, they are really close mm. and publicly close as well. Yeah. I will not pose naked on the front of an album cover before you ask. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one's. Kehar's theme from Watership Down. Oh, and on the B side. And then there's, oh, Bright Eyes. Oh my God, Watership Down traumatized me so hard. I don't think I'll ever quite get over it. And the, I had, my family had a white, like an albino rabbit at the time and the red eyes of poor Mavis scared me after I'd watched Watership Down. Poor thing. I loved her so much and then I just couldn't quite deal with her. Um, then the next one is Wings at the Speed of Sound, McCartney, yeah, it's Wings, oh, Let Him In, Wings, oh. and... Open the door and let him in. We listened to that on the best of Wings the other day. And then the other one is Beware My Love. Cool. Yeah, if I pull this out, it's got quite a nice centre bit. Put it back in its sleeve. It's weird to think that all of that is just two songs. Yeah. I think we have thousands of digital these days. Oh, we've got another one of those Apple Core ones. So this is Working Class Hero. Cool. By John Lennon. And Imagine by John Lennon. So that's a pretty cool one. If it'll focus, fine. Too long. And <laughs> I could tell this was a Rod Stewart one from The Lion. Because um, back in the day, Rod Stewart was one of the first artists I became familiar with because it was just whatever cassette tapes were knocking around the house. Yeah. Back when, the only album that was mine was a pretty shameful Billy Piper album. And then it was just what my brother or my parents listened to and Rod Stewart was one of the cassette tapes. So that's how I'm familiar with him. On this one, there's I'd walk a million miles for one of your goals, which is quite cute. And Ola, Ola, I think that's how you say it. I'm not familiar with those two. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for more. I think this is all more. Yeah, that's all more. Oh yeah. God, I'm losing feeling in my leg. Ah, I'm fine. There you go. We have UB40. And it's Dream a Lie on side A and The Earth Dies Screaming on side B. And then. Oh, what the keep pile? What is it? Uh, oh, Mama, Mama, flipping Mia. Yeah. Do you want a poster? Of Kevin Rowland? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Um, what's that? Tropical Love Island. Okay, so so this apparently is worth keeping. Well, a lot of the ones on my keep are ones that I'm just going to listen to, to be fair. No, that's fair. I went through about a decade of my life wanting to genuinely claim that I came out in a rash every time ABBA played, but I, I think that maybe is because it got overdone too much at weddings. Oh, but, I don't go to weddings. Oh, that's why it's not been overdone for you. I mean, I get it, ABBA, yeah, but um, cheesy as flip. This next one is Laurel and Hardy with the Avalon Boys. 
the Trail of the Lonesome Pine. I'm, I'm just guessing it's going to be some good Honolulu comedy. Baby. Moon. You would hope it would be humorous. Mm. I'm Ooh, certainly intrigued. Um, oh, it's another one of those ones with a lot of space in the middle. Oh, so it's not even going to play on mine. What was it? It was Jealous Guy by Lennon. Oh no. And To Turn You On. To Turn You On was by someone else, I think. It says Ferry in brackets? Ryan Ferry. Mm. So, um, Let's have a look. Up, up to you. Oh, but these are both by Roxy Music as opposed to um, John Lennon, that's why. Oh, okay. And then the last one in the pile you gave to me. Adam and the Ants, Car Trouble. Cool. And the other side is Kick. Cool. He looks quite punky in this one. Well, they were. Well, yeah, but like, he's masculine punk, oh. as opposed to could go either way punk, which is cool. So it's slightly more modern than the other stuff. It's almost 90s. It's very ahead of the curve. Yeah. I'm ready for whatever you've got next. Cool. Oh, Fleetwood Mac. Everywhere. Um, and When I See You Again. It's quite a cute little album cover. This is the kind of thing you'd expect to see in a children's storybook. And then we've got... <laughs> oh, this is a classic. Okay, um, My Girl Lollipop and Flashpoint, Bad Manners. There we go. Then, oh, we got a Queen album, okay. Well, single. <gasps> oh, We Will Rock You and We Are The Champions. Who doesn't want that? Hee <laughs> hee, that's a find. It's not bad for 60 quid I paid for this whole box whole lot. Well, yeah. you know, joys of eBay, isn't it? Well, then hopefully if I can make 60 quid out of the ones that I don't want. Happy days. Cool. And then this one has a massive hole in the middle of its writing, so I'm going to try. Oh, I can tell you what that is. I had to figure it out myself. It's also confusing. It's got, it's got Watcher and... I, I can't tell you what it is without looking Waiting at Waiting at the church on it. Oh, so it's uh, the Muppet, the Muppets musical. That's why. <laughs> oh right, I see it now. Cool. Yeah, the giveaway, uh, the artists. If you can see, it's got like Miss Piggy and Kermit in the artists, which is such a cute touch. <laughs> and then got. What's that? Our Friends Electric, Tube Way Army. Gary Newman. And We Are So Fragile. Good. There wasn't really much in the way of artwork on that one. This one, oh, another UB40. One in 10 present arms in dub. And there's a, a rather sad looking picture of a baby. Oh, yeah. there's, there's quite a bit on this one. I am the one in 10. Then a number on a list. And then it's I'm the one in ten again. Then even though I don't exist. I think this might be a poem as opposed to a track listing. Do you think? Okay, so yeah. I'll try rereading it. Um, I am the one in ten. A number on a list. I am the one in ten, even though I don't exist. Nobody knows me, but I'm always there. A statistic, a reminder of a world that doesn't care. Oh. So uh, I imagine it's fairly political then. <clears throat> mm. um, I've finished looking through the vinyls. Okay. Should we? Should we? Should we move on? Should we do the albums as well? You could pass me the albums. Yeah, sure. If you like. This last one is Eric Clapton. I shot the sheriff. Yeah. And the other side is Give Me Strength. Oh, but that one looks like it might. Mm. Might have to clean that one up a little bit. Cool. Yeah. Um, Last few of those. What, do you want to give me the singles, uh, the, the albums, so I can start looking through the albums? Bear with. I'm going to suggest that maybe all the Nope pile, you can just look through that at your leisure. Oh, do oh, you want to move your book out of the way there? Okay. And then we move the camera back. 
it's on low battery as well. Oh yeah. I'm hoping that's about where we were. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So the albums box is much dirtier than the singles box. Ugh. But there you go. Yeah. Have at. Is there? Um, yeah. Right. All right. So we've Keep got going. the reggae filler. Monic Orchestra, Mini the Moocher, and Dangling. I just oh, thought the Reggae Philharmonic Orchestra. Look at the style on it as well. The Reggae Philharmonic Orchestra sounded pretty cool. Yeah. Then we've got um, Bad Manners, Ivor the Engine, and Special Brew. Yeah, we Never. used to have that one actually, and then sold it again. <laughs> ah. That's like. The Michelin Man meets kink culture, if you can see it. Oh, is it going to tease you? It's going to tease you. Never mind. You're just going to have to imagine that. Then we've got Adam and the Ants, the Xerox, and Whipping My Valet? Or valise. valise? Whipping My Valise. It's a suitcase. Well, it's the French word for suitcase. Oh, well. You would know that better than me. Oh, more well, Adam It's also a loan word, so it's valise is now an English word as well because of it. Mm, fair. This one is ant music. This one's sealed. Oh my god. Hello! Alright, the camera ran out of battery and Susie has since had to go home. Fortunately, as you can see, my back is a little better. I'm just going to show you here the last few of the... Uh, al the these are the LPs, the 12 inches, uh, that I'm, I'm going to keep. So we have Jar Shaka Presents Dub Masters Volume 1. We've got a few of these really interesting ones. Uh, Black Radical, Ripping Up the Industry. Uh, the Black Exploitation Mix, Introducing the New Poets, etc. And it's about how... Um, the record industry is pre like his historically owned by white people, basically. Overlord, Radical Kickback. It's a really weird mix of stuff in here, because here we have the Lonnie Donegan Showcase, and I like Lonnie Donegan. Here we have Hot Hits 17, but it has such bangers as Come On, Feel The Noise, Killing Me Softly, Pinball Wizard, yeah, 20th Century Man. Then we have the Jacksons Going Places. And what appears to be a Ouija board on the back of it, goodness me. Chart explosion, like some blondie madness, Ian Jury. I want to be straight. <laughs> Chart explosion. This is Black Rhyme Organization to Help Equal Rights Beyond the 16th Parallel. We have jukebox classics from the original soundtrack of The Wanderers. It's just got some great tunes on it, lots of 60s stuff. And then we have Elvis in the movies here. So those are all the ones that I'm going to keep. There are also, like, there's a box down there. Of, ooh, there are tons of these that I'm not going to keep. So those are all going to go up on my eBay store. I'll link to that below in case you're interested. I sell books on there, but as you can see, I'm... Well, Susie and I have got a new tradition where we have vinyl evenings and where we listen to music. So especially instrumental stuff. Uh, so we're looking to try and get some classics. Because if it's instrumental, Susie can sit there and read her book without getting distracted and I'll crack on with some work and stuff. So, so yeah, um, as we've been getting, you know, as we've been listening to more and more vinyls, we've pretty much worked our way through my existing stock of vinyls. So now we have a new stock of vinyls to go through. It's very exciting. Isn't it Biggie? So anyway, this has been a bit of a different thing, but I thought you might enjoy coming behind the scenes and checking out these vinyls and singles with me. And I will do more of these as and when I get new job lots of books and or vinyls, basically. So uh, yeah, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you like any of these albums. Let me know if you've got your own little vinyl collection going on as well, why not? Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for what will probably be next time a bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.